Hey everyone, it's Jennifer with Rooted in the Rock and I've got something dropping from the Encouragement Branch right now. Hey everyone, welcome to Rooted in the Rock. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I wanted to talk just a little minute. I wanted to encourage you mamas, and this, this applies to teachers too, mamas and teachers about a little, practicing a little self-care, okay? Now I know, I don't wanna say lately, I haven't heard it a lot lately, but in recent history, you know, there's been a whole thing with people and doing me time, okay? The whole phrase me time, it just kind of makes me cringe. It's it's sort of kind of that, but not exactly, but sort of kind of, <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, you've got to take care of yourself. We get so busy with, uh, trust me, I you know, I'm there with you. You get so busy with, you know, we've got to, you know, taking them to school or taking them to dance or baseball or basketball or football or whatever the things may be, piano, lessons, whatever. We get so busy and, you know, we have to, you know, clean, keeping the house clean and, and got to figure out what everybody needs for dinner. And, you know, if you do vacations, you got to schedule all the vacations, all the things. Okay. And a lot of times, unless you're already aware of it, unless you already generally, you know, have this habit, like I, I'm terrible about this. I'm, I'm trying to get better at this, but, you know, I just kind of let my own things slide because I'm busy taking care of everybody else and I feel like that's my job and my stuff isn't important. <sighs> However, so you have to, you got to think of it this way. You know, the whole me time thing makes me cringe and it just, it sounds so selfish, right? However, you got to think of it this way. Okay. You may make sure you're taking care of yourself. Okay. Because you can't help anyone else if you're breaking down. <laughs> Okay, like, let's just put it that way. You know, it's just like those, I don't know if I can find one, but it's just like, you know, the airline safety videos where they're telling you to... Caution, I've released the oxygen mask. Oxygen masks on. Oxygen mask will automatically drop. Most ways resembles an ordinary operating room oxygen mask. What's your plan? Let's put your mask on. All right, mask it's on. Mask on. Ma'am, can you put this mask on? Put on your mask. You put on your air mask before you help your kid with their air mask because you're as a mama or a you know teacher or whatever your first instinct you know what you you got to take care of the ones that can't take care of themselves but <laughs> like in the airplane situation you can't take care of them and help them if you're dying of oxygen deprivation you know what I'm saying like you have to put your own mask on before you can help everyone out. You can make sure you're good and then you can help everybody else. Okay. And I know it's, you know, easier said than done. I get it, but you have to take care of yourself. Now, as a, as a mama or as a teacher, you know, what could that mean? You, for one thing, as Christians, we need to be spending our time with God, either, you know, prayer time, Bible time, you know, whatever that, that may be. Prayer. You better read your Bible. Now, in the morning, I don't, you know, I know people that like to get up early and do it at the beginning of the day. Me, however, <laughs> I'm like a night owl kind of person and I sleep as late as possible, get up as late as possible. I just get up, get ready, get it. Okay, let's go. You know, like Gotta go. it's <laughs> the mornings are chop chop for, for us. So, um, you know, getting up early. Snooze. I, I'm working on it. I've tried. I've prayed. I've begged God, please make me a morning person. I want to, you know, I am how God made me. And I got to figure out how to, you know, live better that way. So for me, Bible study and God time actually has to be later in the day. However, you know, but for you, it might be in the morning. It might be while the, if, if you're at home and the kids go to school, it might be while the kids are at school. It could be uh, in the evening before bedtime, just anytime you can get a few minutes. And you know what? It doesn't have to be, 
you do need alone time with God. Sometimes, sometimes as a mama, the only true alone time you get is in the shower. Like, I kid, I kid you not, sometimes that is, and sometimes that isn't even all alone time. There's always someone coming in needing something, right? Just need some alone time. Been there, done that. <laughs> like, wherever you can squeeze it, squeeze it. But it also, you know, it doesn't hurt to have the kids see it either. I remember coming downstairs in the morning as a kid and my dad would be, you know, at the table. He always had his Bible at the table because he would sit there, drink his coffee and read the Bible before he'd go to work. There's nothing wrong with, you know, the kids coming and seeing you that. I mean, they should see you taking care of yourself and know it's important. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, they they need to learn that when they get older and they're in charge, they need to take care of themselves too. And so it's okay for them to see, you know, oh, hey, why are we getting a babysitter? Well, mommy's getting her nails done. And sometimes, and, and this, you gotta, some you need a break. Okay, like I realize there's not always someone around or if you're a single mom, the Lord love you and help you. Okay, I know it's hard. It's so hard. And, um, but you've got to, at sometimes and regularly, you've got to. You have to be consistent with them. If you're like me, you just get busy with stuff and you never get around to scheduling it. So, like with my haircuts, I schedule the next haircut before I leave for my haircut because otherwise, and I put it on the count, you know, I put it on the calendar because otherwise it ain't going to happen. <laughs> I used to go like, a year or two years, you know, at least a year before I'd cut my hair just because, you know, whatever. I hated paying for it. And, but, you know, and, and, and lately that has been my nails. I am so excited. I got, I actually got a manicure and a pedicure, uh, just this week. And I felt I, my husband called and he was like, Hey, how's it going? And I was like, it's amazing. I am fantastic. Like I felt so good afterwards. My cuticles, I normally don't do both. I usually just do my toes, but, um, my nail, my cuticles looked so, it, they looked so bad. I hadn't, I honestly hadn't had my nails done for like at least a year. It'd been that long. I didn't have them done all summer. It was shameful. Seriously. But I was like, okay, it needs to be done. So I scheduled a babysitter. Like they went to Nana's house and I went and got my nails done. Like I just did what I needed to do. I was finally like, I was supposed to do it during Valentine's Day too. He was like, for Valentine's Day, why don't you go, you know, get a massage or have your nails done, whatever you want. And I just been busy, haven't done it. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> we're scheduling this thing. We are doing this. And I felt so good afterwards. And my nails are amazing. And just seeing my hands doing things. I might be busy doing things, but boy, is it nicer when my nails are done. <laughs> it just, it, it, it seems like a silly kind of thing. But that just that, just that one thing made me feel so good. I feel pretty. And just, I mean, I don't want to say pampering. I mean, it was pampering, I guess. Because, you know, when they rub the... Oh, the sugar scrub on you and then the lotion and it feels so good and it was just amazing. And just that little thing can be so refreshing. I mean, for you, it might look like a long bike ride with a friend or on your own or a walk at the, you know, a walk at the park. What a, you know, I don't know what your refreshing thing, like going to swim laps by yourself, right? Like I don't, I love swimming. I don't feel like I can go to the pool because I'm constantly, you know, making sure all the kids are okay, right? So I never get to swim laps for myself, which I would love. Um, you know, maybe someday, I don't know. Someday, Jennifer, someday. But you know, whatever that may be for you, schedule, I mean, once a month, that's not too much, right? Once a month. So I've like committed, I'm going to, I'm going to have my nails done once a month. It makes me feel good. I feel prettier. I feel pretty. I feel more feminine and I'm just, I'm going to have my nails done. I've got this beautiful purple, like lavendery sparkly color and I'm loving it. I, actually it's hilarious, but let me tell you, it matches. <laughs> I don't know if you can see this, but like my nails pretty much like match the color of my phone case, which <laughs> Is really, I didn't even realize it till after it was done. I'm like, yeah, I really like this color. <laughs> I 
that's the color I want my car to be. <laughs> but anyway, you know, just th something. You know, it might just be going out one night to hang out with friends and have dinner or dessert, go to Cheesecake Factory, get some cheesecake. Get your cheesecake, chocolate cheesecake. You know, whatever. But just, you know, at least once a month. There's some people do this kind of thing every week. I am never too busy for that. But once a month, I think that's pretty doable. Like, take care of yourself. But part of taking care of yourself is, you know, drinking enough water, making, you know, obviously making sure you're healthy. You know, it's hard to find workout time. But you know what? If you can't do workout time without the kids, then do a workout time with the kids. Don't worry. It won't hurt much. There are all kinds of things you could do together to, to have some exercise. Seriously. I mean, just do what you got to do. Take care of yourself. Okay? Drinking water, exercising, but like doing something relaxing nice for yourself right like you could just be like after they're in bed be like okay mommy is taking a bath <laughs> i'm putting some epsom salts in here and i'm relaxing and i'm you know set the timer 20 minutes i'm thinking about nothing just and it just it can little things like that can do so much for you either a mama or a teacher seriously teachers let's not even go <laughs> but also speaking of teachers Things like staff development. So if you're a teacher, then, well, depending on what state you're a teacher in, there may be requirements of you have to get so many credits per year for continuing education in order to renew your certificate, depending on where you teach. So in any job, really, you want to keep up with new developments, what's going on, you know, depending on what you're what the job is but generally you're going to do like a continuing education kind of thing you keep me from learning you can't keep me from studying and that's no different with teachers and mamas at home make sure you're getting stuff like staff development every year for you know either teaching or if you're a, a stay-at-home mom and you guys homeschool that's you know extra important to make sure you're getting staff development there are the local, if you have a local school store, a lot of times they will offer things. Different places that have curriculum, like I know BJU did a whole summer conference thing where you could get a whole bunch of credits. We did that one year and that was really cool where you, and it was all online. You did these online classes and you got a certain number of credits for certain numbers of, you know, how long, however long the class was. So, and the local, I think, you have to check into the rules for your state the, with the Department of Education or with, if you're certified anyway. If you're certified, well, if you're not certified, you don't have to worry about it. But if you're a certified teacher, like I am, like I need to check with the rules of my state and be like, how many do I need to have? How do I turn them in? There are all kinds of things about that. Um, I could do a video on that, but it, like I said, it varies state to state. So I don't know how, how really useful that would be, but... Anyway, you know, and also the the homeschool expos, they're everywhere all over the country. There's a ton of them. I've talked about those before, but they have, the one by us has, not only do they have the expo, but it's kind of like a conference where the during the two different days, they have all these different sessions you can go to, and they're like little classes, and that is totally exactly like staff development. Like there will be someone talking about their writing process. Or someone talking about how they use this software. There was one once where they were talking about how to organize their their systems and keeping their records and stuff. There are all kinds of really great, useful little sessions you could go to, as long as you can, you know, get childcare. A lot of kid, a lot of people had their kids with them too. So there are a lot of really great things you can do. Make sure you're doing that for yourself, like for, teacher wise. If you are homeschooling, that's going to be the, the educational classes. What does that look like for like a, just a mama who is, you know, you know, how does a mama do staff development? Well, what about learning how to clean without chemicals? I got pretty big into that. I do Norwex and, and uh, young, Norwex cleaning things and Young Living Oils. Like you could learn stuff about oils or cleaning your house or you can learn how to plant a garden or... You know what I'm saying? Things that will help you in your home life or Bible studies at your church. Just going to like our church does women's Bible studies every what every quarter 
or you know several times a year and really just that time to get and go see if there's a women's ministry at your church where you can they have you know maybe they have hangouts every few months or something where you just go have dinner with the ladies or a bible study which is or you know if there is there a bible class or a bible study you can go to all those kinds of things think of that as like staff development and you need that that's good for you never stop learning never stop learning it's good for you <laughs> but i always tell my students too i know i've mentioned this like at least once or twice before but i always tell my students you know in in your christian life you never stop learning there are passages in the Bible that you can know by heart and you've read them over and over again and then for some reason in your 40s or whenever you know 50s whenever in your life for some reason sometime later the Holy Spirit just kind of reveals it new to you and you learn something new from it and you're like what how did I never see that before and it's because he will there are things that that aren't really revealed to you till you're ready for him and he he in his timing when he needs you to this, you know, to see something a certain way, then he'll let that happen. So you never, you never stop learning. I, I tell my students, even a Christian who is like 98 years old, they're still, they still have things to work on. They're still learning things about God and, and getting closer with him and, and et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, it never ends and don't, you know, don't get too busy. Like this time of year, when is it? We're in March right now. At the time of filming, I'm not sure when, I'm, when this one exactly, because I've just totally zoinked my schedule. Uh, I had scheduled out certain posts for certain days, and I messed it up by doing something else today. So I'm like, ah, now where am I going to put this one? But anyway, so <laughs> we get so busy this time of year. Okay, we're at the end of the school year. We're in the spring. We're at the end of the school year. And we've got the choir concerts and the the drama the drama shows and we've got the dance recitals and all the things are going on. All the things at the end of the school year. It is such a busy time of year. I mean, thank God for spring break. Like we, <laughs> whew, there's so many things going on, right? Like it gets, you get so busy. Just don't forget about yourself right now. I know we're busy taking care of everyone else and all the duckies in a row. God bless Mama Duckies. Mama Duck, you're free and clear. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so much going on right now. Don't forget to take care of yourself. It is okay for the kids to see that. It's healthy for the kids to see that as long as you're doing it in a healthy way. Like, let's not be selfish and, and be all like me, me, me. But at the same time, don't forget you do the balance. You need to find the balance, right? Go find the balance. You, not the me, me, me selfish, but not the I'm not important and I serve everybody else and never myself. You need to be, find that balance in the middle. In the middle where, yes, we're, you know, do, taking care of everyone else and, and serving others and all of that. But at the same time, don't forget to take care of yourself. I want to encourage you to do some self-care, whatever that may be. You might not have the money to go to a nail place and have your nails done. So do just... Do your nails yourself. I'm doing my own thing. At home. That'll work. Get you some $10 color street. Beautiful. That's easy. There are different. You can look up color street. Um, those are so much fun and they're so cute. But there are other like brands that do the same thing. But they're all pretty cheap. Like 10 bucks for a pack. I would always get two uh, manicures out of a pack too. So I mean cheap but like fun designs and they're super cute i love them and like regular nail polish never stays on me more than like a day or two before i'm chipping it off because i'm always you know you're washing dishes and digging in the dirt and doing all kinds of stuff right so <laughs> i'm rough on my my hands anyway so <laughs> it's another reason why i needed a manicure so bad oh they were terrible they were so terrible <laughs> ah, anyway take care of yourself before you take care of others and make sure that you are growing, still seeking God, and still looking for growth in that area. Take care of yourself. Teach your kids. They need to take care of themselves too. And hopefully, everyone will start to feel better. Have a great week.
everyone, it's Jennifer. Jennifer. Ugh. Hey everyone, welcome to. That's not what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, oh, no, wait. <laughs> and done. Woo, two in one day. Urgh.